الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي رسول أول الأمر منكم and a reminder for myself and abduk al ajisu daifu miskinu zalim al jahal and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence so you can turn off all the other mics so it doesn't feed back no feedback. Always a reminder for myself that we are nothing. We took a path in which to be nothing and that Allah rahmah and mercy keeps us in existence. And if we understood truly how fragile our life is and how much shaitan wants to destroy us, how much shaitan is coming after the family, coming after the children, coming after everyone. If we knew that we were hunted, we would have an immense love for Allah But shaitan make us to be heedless, that no everything's okay shaykh don't worry. So no it's not okay that mankind are being hunted now. Turn on the news, 2,000 children go missing in a city. They said, we don't know what happened to them, well, you don't know what happened to them. Another place of fire, 3,000 children go missing. Means shaitan is aggressively coming after insan and he comes after even more those whom have faith in their heart. Those who are already servants of his, he already has them as his students. What he wants is the faith of the believer and the light within their heart to diminish it. Means if we understood the immensity of the danger that we face, we would have an immense love for Allah And that all day long praising Allah asking Allah for forgiveness, that, Ya Rabbi shukr, walhamdulillah wa shukran lillah that you're saving me and that I'm being protected, inshaAllah my family being protected, my children and my grandchildren to be protected and the shaykhs pray that their communities to be protected and everything because… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. Inshallah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. They're not heedless that Allah opened their heart through their spiritual practices and training as a result of not being heedless. They inherit what Prophet taught, if you knew what I knew you would cry more than laughing. If you knew what I knew you would cry more than laugh. Because mankind is in an ignorance because of the phone they have, the social media they have, everything looks beautific and one by one somebody is being taken. And the collective whole doesn't know what happened to the one on the right and one on the left. But Allah sends servants whom they're not heedless and they know that insan has a target upon his head. And Allah dispatches them into dunya to go and teach them and train them how to be under my protection. Right? Many people speak from Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and all the knowledges 
But in reality none of those knowledges have a weight and a value if we don't understand the Auzu Billah. Now more than ever they want to offer you something for safety. They want to give you this, they want to give you that. And every shaitan makes a cave that come to my cave and you'll be safe. But what Allah asked from us is, you're not going to fight these devils. Believers don't fight the devil, he seeks refuge in Allah from the devil. Fa'awzu billahi min ash rajeem And our whole life is to understand, what is this a'uzu billahi min ash rajeem Where am I going to go? The shaitan is not going to be there, not going to be attacking, not going to be destroying. Where do I go that's safe for me? And only Allah come into our lives is very simple. The only safety that Allah has provided is Hadrat al Nabi. Right? The presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is Allah is with Prophet. That if we want to seek refuge and we want to escape the grip of shaitan, who shaitan doesn't have a hold with and whom shaitan is fearing is Sayyidina Muhammad And the nation seems to want to run away from that reality. They run away from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and then they think they have a access to Allah But the kalima says, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah You don't reach La ilaha illallah without going through the door of Muhammadun Rasulullah That is the secret awliya come and teach, this is the key of auzu. is in your life Make sure that you're in the presence and company of Sayyidina Muhammad Because Allah said, I'm with Nabiin, most important. Siddiqeen, shuhadahi wa salihin, they're all following Nabiin. So it means the first and most important door is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad So they come into our life and say, well then how are you going to achieve that? How are you going to keep the hudur and the, the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad By love. You be hadith of Nabi Prophet you be with whom you love. Very simple key, he didn't make it complicated. You don't have to jump through any hoops. Prophet came and said, you be with whom you love. If you love criminals, you be with criminals. You love gangsters, you be with gangsters. If you love Sayyidina Muhammad you be with Allah. That's the key for us. In the last days Dajjal is coming and taking that key away. He knows the key. He wants to bring everybody to La ilaha illallah and forget this Muhammadun Rasulullah he knows this is a key of power, this is a key of protection. And only Allah come onto this earth and dispense all around the earth. Ishq Muhammad that keep the love of Prophet How? Make salawat and durood al-sharif. When you don't feel good, make salawat. When your rizq is short, Make salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad When you're feeling sick, you have difficulty at home, make your salawat, play the salawat into the house so that you and your children will have the love of Sayyidina Muhammad What happens then? Prophet came and promised that every time you make one salawat upon me, 
Allah allows my soul to come and make 10 salawat upon you. Meaning what? That you can keep Hadrat al Nabi Keep yourself busy with Durud al Sharif and Prophet Wasallam's nur is busy accompanying you step by step. So, means if you're making salawat al Sharif and Prophet Wasallam's light is continuously praising back upon you. You're keeping the companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad As a result, what Allah gave in Holy Qur'an, how can I punish them when they're asking for forgiveness and that you're present with them? Right? Because if Allah is angry with us and He allows these shaitans to eat us and come after us, it's from Allah's anger. But what Allah gave to the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad how I'm going to punish them when they're asking istighfar and that you are with them. How is Prophet with us? With our durood sharif and good character. Others want to say, oh it's your amal. Your amal is worth garbage if you have bad character. Allah doesn't need your salah, Allah definitely doesn't need your zakah, Allah doesn't need your jummah and your hajj and anything else you're doing if the khuluq and the character is not good. But one whom walks with Sayyidina Muhammad what is his character now? So you walk alone, shaitan is with you. Yell at that person, call this person a kuffar, do like this because this shaitan is with you. If you're in companionship with Sayyidina Muhammad Allah awliyaullah would say that what? When you make durood al-sharif your tongue becomes sweet. How can it not be that the salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad is making your, your heart to be sweet? Your khuluq and character becomes sweet. Hadrat al Nabi is with you. What Allah says, Shahidan, Mubashiran, wa Nadiran, that presence. That He's with you, He witnesses you, you're making salawat, He's looking upon your character. So, why are you yelling? Why are you screaming? Why are you trying to hurt somebody? And their character changes out of their, their shyness and embarrassment. Not to lose the presence of Prophet Mubashiran, if that light is with you, you still don't know even the realities of the light of Prophet What happens? What type of lights are thrown upon your soul when Prophet is giving salawat upon you, praising upon you, thanking Allah for such a beautific nation? And the last was what? Nadiran. Because these lights and this blessing coming, it takes you from bad to good. So then imagine then the majlis that is only for the purpose of that love. The three days a week we have majlis of Salli ala Nabi Why? To build the love for people. That you have to have the love for Sayyidina Muhammad You have to do your durood al-sharif, you have to improve your characteristics. And then what do you gain? You gain the love of Allah And when you pass fatabiuni, correct with good manners, good character, yuhibakumullah. One whom Allah loves, shaitan is scared of him. Why? Because Prophet described, be careful for the eyes of the believer because he looks with the light of Allah You think the eyes and the light that come from their eyes, shaitan can handle that? And Hadith Al-Qudsi Allah describes these servants who they fulfilled their wajib but they do voluntary acts. Most people are very happy they went for Jummah. So what's your Islam? Jummah. That's it? That's it? You did only what was wajib? 
No, but when you have voluntary majlis and you have halakas for love and you do charitable deeds for love, what Allah grants from Hadith Al-Qudsi? I'm going to be the seeing in which you see. Hadith Al-Qudsi. I'm going to be the hearing in which you hear. So now tell me then, if Allah is saying, I'm going to be your seeing, can you tell me I can't see into the heavens? Or Allah's power is limited? Or they can see straight into your heart and think what you're thinking? You think that you're, you're sealed or you're, 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 you're hidden from something? Allah is just saying, I've become the servant seeing. What will he see from Allah's power? Then Allah describes in hadith, I've become the servant's hearing. What will he hear with his hearing? Can he hear the whispers within the hearts of people? Is something hard? Can he hear Prophet into the seven paradises? Allah's hearing. There's no limitation on that reality. I become the hands in which that servant moves. Means what? The hand has Yad Allah. Allah's power and authority in their hand. That's why shaitan is scared of them. He doesn't want these rijal. He doesn't want the men to become rijal Allah. He doesn't want them to become awliya Allah. He wants to put a dress on them. It's easier to slaughter that way. But not Prophet comes to teach us that simple tasbih of yours, that durood that you make, the salawat that you make, imagine all that can be opened of immensity. Wa Allah become your hearing, a hearing that in your grave it never ends. Doesn't become your eyes, I become your hearing for all of eternity. I become your seeing for all of eternity. I become the tongue in which you speak for all of eternity. I become the hands in which you touch. Allah's power and qudra upon the hand, the hand of Prophet upon that hand. I become your qadam and the feet in which you move. So much so you become Rabbaniyoon and what? Kun fayakun, you have power of kun fayakun. So you don't think shaitan is worried about that hadith? You think it's random that he's doing this to people, trying to destroy people, trying to destroy the population, trying to destroy Islam? He's scared of this hadith. He knows the Muhammadan nation is the most powerful nation. If they wake up, they can flip the earth upside down. We pray that Allah grant us from this year the immense light and love of Sayyidina Muhammad in in every heart and in every home and in every location, Mawlid and Nabi all the time. Let your children to hear it and see it all the time. It's a protection for them, it's a protection for the family and communities. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. الحمد لله رب العالمين بحرمة محمد المصطفى بسير سورة الفاتحة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.